So for day six, the entry is forest. And I think with this one, I want to talk about um, forests in RPGs and the best and worst ways to do it. Obviously, the worst approach is to just treat a forest as a montage scene to get from the town to the dungeon or the town from the town or vice versa. I think that using forests should be just as dangerous as using any sort of other overland travel. Especially since there's more ways to get lost, since all the trees are going to look the same eventually. But when it comes to games that use it effectively, um, the big one that's come into mind for me in recent years has been Simbaurum, which I already reviewed. But moreover, I do think that there's a certain importance to the idea of hex crawls that's kind of been lost in this insistence on more narrativist approaches. A lot of t because, well, a lot of times you're dealing with people who are traveling through darkness bet that is between points of light on their particular campaign maps. And there's going to be a lot of threats within that. Why, do you think, why else do you think so many fairy tales as, that we read growing up dealt with some weird thing happening in the forest? I do understand why that kind of thing is skipped over, because a lot of times people want to get right to the... Um, Juicy bits, for lack of a better word. But I do think having encounters or the like within the forest or between various um, major points can help illustrate how treacherous travel is and why it's it and why it's not just done everywhere all at once. I think it also helps illustrate the fact that you're dealing with a world and not a series of set pieces. Now, obviously, if you're doing an urban story that's taking place in a single city, this is going to be trickier. Although, even in that, I think it can still be done. It just has to be done in different ways. Um, it's one of those things where you have to do, or you have to do it in more in a more localized approach, kind of like how you treat a city having different um, districts or different sub themes. Um, I remember reading a thing where. Um, Mike Pondsmith talked about ha having um, Sim City as his influence when it came to the design of his Night City, each area being based on a different overall theme. And that's certainly something that, that can be done within urban campaigns. In fact, I'd actually encourage it. In order, to, the whole point is to establish the setting that you have as a world in and of itself. Now, when it comes to more space themed games, it's a little bit trickier, but it's somewhat doable. It ultimately depends on how that game uses faster than light travel, if it uses it at all. Otherwise, you may, you may be just better served by having it as a montage thing. But there's always certain dangers that can happen between planets, so the idea of having those particular things, especially if someone's piloting that ship, and double especially if that pilot happens to be a player character... There should be at least some measure to show that going out here is definitely a risk, and it's more, of a, more and more of a risk the further away from civilization that you get. Um, the thing that very much comes to mind is the whole security levels that EVE Online has. And while I'm not saying take that exact route, maybe take some notes from it, i.e. you can get much better stuff in low security areas, but you're also going to have to deal with pirates. And they might not be as nice as corporate security. I'm not saying it's a perfect transition, but at least it's something. Now, if you're in a setting that is a lot more confined, this whole idea might be a bit trickier to do. I'd say in that case, the forest should be representations of players and NPCs. And how, and how they interact with each other and what some of their cues are. It's one of those things where it's certainly possible to transfer it over, but it is going to take some work. Then again, a smart GM who has some idea of what they're doing will find ways to work around these things. It's not like you're actually legally required to play things completely as written, is it? Well, unless you're dealing with Adventurer's League, but I don't do that. <laughs> 